Relational challenges uh, will come and go in terms of various styles of church life. When I was first converted, I went to the nearby church where the pastor was a wonderful man and a beautiful preacher, really helped me know the Bible was thoroughly trustworthy, it was relevant to my life, wonderful preaching. But there was a, a sign on the wall of the church which said, do not speak in the sanctuary. And uh, that was not uncommon in those days. So the church was kind of the temple in a way that is misunderstanding what we mean by the temple. It was the building somehow, it was sort of holy ground, and you weren't supposed to speak in there. Now that totally frustrated any sense of community or relationship. And for myself, coming out of a pagan world as I did, uh, my friends, none of them were Christians. I'd, I'd grown through my teenage years as a thoroughgoing pagan. My parents were not Christian. Now I've received Christ. But how do you live this life? You go to church on Sunday, you listen to great preaching, and you don't meet anybody. You're not allowed to speak. You shake, you shake hands with the pastor at the door and go home. Um, it was very difficult to develop a relationship. And so for us, we started meeting in homes, and all that formality went, and we could be just friends, we could be on Christian name terms, we could begin to share, and begin to be part of one another's lives. And I think any kind of formality can cut us off from one another, and it tends to make, uh, the word hypocrite means putting on a mask, and it's very possible to put on a mask, uh, and to become formal, and it's possible for the pastor to create that context. Who can get to know him? He's special. So how do we get to know one another? And so it's important for leaders to lead the way into informality, even vulnerability, to help build genuine relationships. We need genuine relationships. The world is more and more fragmented. Marriages are collapsing. Kids break their relationships with their parents. There's fragmentation on every side. The church should be a place where relationships are wonderful and I can be known and loved and cared for and helped here. So it's part of our message. We're a community on the move. We're a community where the church is a city set on a hill. It's light. And part of that light is the relationships we enjoy.